course objectives and I only choose the most relevant objectives to show you. I, I don't want to bore you that much, but these are definitely the most important ones that we are going to cover. So the first will be learn about Aspen Plus and why is it useful to model physical properties? Why do we need it? How and what can we do with it? So many times plenty of modelers don't know that we can get plenty of physical properties without even going to the simulation environment. So that's very important. Second, specify conventional and non-conventional components. Understand that we can model both those that are already existing in Aspen Plus databases and those which are not yet, we can model them. So that's important as well. We can model pure data that is pure components, let's say water or CO2, ethanol, etc. We can model binary systems that is the interaction between, let's say, a real real solution. Let's use phenol and water as an example. We can use ternary systems, maybe, I don't know, model air as nitrogen, oxygen, and argon, or maybe model a water octanol hexane mixture. And we can model multiple mixture systems. That is, maybe we have a alkane system. It has methane, ethane, propane, butane, all the pentanes, all the hexanes, yet we can model this. So this is very important. We will understand how to model these systems. Understand and select the most relevant property method. This is very important. Actually, the main point of this course is to understand what's a property method and why it's important to select the best property method in order to get a simulation to run satisfactory. We're going to understand a little bit more on the ideal, the equation of states, activity, and spatial models. Why do we have different ones and why do we need to pay special attention into those? We're going to understand what's parameter, how we use pure binary and ternary parameters, and how to get them via regression of data. Of course, we're going to be plotting a lot of information for pure substances, mixtures, etc. The most relevant plots will be, of course, property versus another property, let's say enthalpy versus temperature of a pure substance. We will be modeling maybe enthalpy or entropy versus pressure. We will be modeling the composition of, let's say these are binary systems. We can model the composition of liquid and vapor phase at constant pressure, that will be temperature changing. The same is true for constant temperature and pressure changing, or even just liquid versus vapor composition. We're going to be working as well on ternary diagrams, if you remember, recall that these are essentially the most common type of diagrams that you will be using in three substances once we fix the temperature pressure. We're going to be manipulating uh, data. That's a lot of data. We're going to be manipulating maybe our own experimental raw data. We will be modeling theori theoretical concepts, models, values, etc., or maybe get experimental data from other sources. Then we're going to check out these databases, which are pretty cool. Actually, we're going to use mostly this one because this is already included on Aspen. Decima or Decima is not included because you need to pay for each set of data. So we're not going to be using this that much. This will be most of the course all the data that is already experimentally available, we can get it via the NIST or TDE engine. We're going to get to report relevant results. In Aspen Plus, we can get plenty of results, properties, etc. but many of them are not of interest or vice versa. Many of them are of interest and they are not shown or reported. So we're going to understand how to get that. We're going to learn how to set property sets and how to uh, review those properties. Finally, we're going to be working with plenty of tables, charts, graph, plotting, etc. We're going to try not only to plot, but to understand what's going on with our mixtures. Finally, we're going to do a lot of regression via model fitting. So let's say we have a model and we have some data right here. Well, these are specific points. What we want to do is to model maybe this 
via regression and see if they are recommended or not for regression. We're going to see the tests. So these are the main course objectives. At the section number eight, we have some case scenarios or case studies in which we apply all these to real life engineering applications. So that will be most of the course objective, guys. See you in the next video.